30, 60, 90 days, start to close one to two properties a week. That's the magic number is what I found. This is what I believe. I'm sharing that with you for nothing. Just get out there and succeed. Most agents, they have, <clears throat> let's say three to five prospects in their pipeline who are thinking about buying or selling something in the next 90 days. And most agents, they focus on those three or four people and they don't, they just put all their time there thinking that, oh, I got three or four deals here, but they really don't, they got one. And then when that one's done, the other people go away. Now what do you have? Nothing the next month. And you have to try to find more people that might want to do stuff. And so I want to simplify this process for you and put it into perspective in a way that's very easy to understand and it's not hard, okay? The first thing is, is it's not difficult, the actions necessary to actually go out and find a human being in your market that is thinking about doing something, not even gonna do something, just thinking about considering doing something in the next 90 days. It's not hard to go out there and find a human in that situation, not hard. Okay, so what I want you to do is this. I want all of you to go to your, open up your laptop, <clears throat> open up your browser, and I want you to create a Google Sheet. I want you to create a Google Sheet, and I want you to call this Google Sheet real estate deals, potential deals, real estate, whatever it is you wanna call it. Okay, and then I want you to make this Google Sheet a favorite on your browser. Okay, so we're gonna make the Google Sheet a favorite on your browser. Now, this Google Sheet is gonna be, when you, when you start working in the mornings and you go to your laptop, you open it up, and you, you open up all your tabs that you normally open up, your email, your MLS, you know, your tax records, whatever tab you open up, I also want you to open this tab. It's your Google Sheet. It needs to be open all day long. And you're gonna be working this Google Sheet. Okay, this is what we're gonna do with it. We're gonna put people on this sheet. This is all we need to focus on. Okay, at the end of this, I'm gonna give you like three things and it's all you need to focus on if you wanna sell 50 to 100 deals over the next 12 months. On this Google Sheet, we're going to put people that are thinking about doing something in the next 90 days. Now, as we're working to try to find people that want to do things in the next 90 days, you know, buy and sell property, we're going to run into more, even more people that don't want to do anything in the next 90 days. We're still going to spend the same amount of time with those people that don't want to do anything in the next 90 days. We're still going to spend time with them and create that relationship, right? And we're going to put them in our database to get that weekly email that every single one of you should be doing every single week on the same day of the week forever. That's the foundation of your personal brand. Only got 20 minutes, so I can't get into that. That's a whole different story. But we're gonna put people on this Google Sheet that are looking to buy or sell in the next 90 days. Okay, we're gonna put their name, we can put whatever we want. We can put their phone number, address, email, whatever we want. But we're gonna put on there, on one of the columns, the situation. What they're looking to buy, what they're looking to sell, why they're looking to buy or sell, what the situation is, the conversation you had, and when you're supposed to follow up the whole nine yards. Okay? Now, the Google Sheet is going to help you never forget that you talked to that prospect. It could be a sign call that you talked to once. They told you some information about what they're looking for. You immediately put them on the Google Sheet. You send them some stuff. You kind of forget about it after a week or two, but you'll all, it'll always be on the Google Sheet. Y'all can always circle back. Okay, so you never lose. You know, this is a way where, you know, my business was is so big. And before the pandemic, when transactions went down a little, I had, I had things that fell through the cracks, but I had so much business, I could, I could only handle what I could handle. But when my transactions went from 30 in March to two, I had to come up with a system that helped me keep track of everything where nothing fell through the cracks. Okay, and this is kind of something I did, but it does more than that. It puts you on track to sell 50 to 100 deals. Um, here's the benchmark. Here's the magic number. 20 to 30 people. If you can create this Google Sheet and focus only on this Google Sheet and talking to people, to find 20 to 30 people to have on that Google Sheet 
that are thinking about buying or selling in the next 90 days and you keep working the sheet, you will, within the next 30, 60, 90 days, start to close one to two properties a week. That's the magic number is what I found. 20 to 30. One to two properties a week. Okay, that's 50 to 100 deals in a year. Now, how do we work the Google Sheet? Okay, as we're placing prospects on the Google Sheet, if one of those prospects moves forward and lists their property with you, they're off the list because this is possible deals. People are thinking about doing something. Now they went from thinking to actually doing. So now they're not on this thinking about a list or they're over here in the doing the deal list, right? So we want to keep this list of people that are considering to do something in the next 90 days to 20 to 30. So if someone on the list decides to list a property with another agent, okay, that they're going to come off the list. And by the way, you should congratulate the people that, you know, decide to use a different agent because obviously they picked, they made a decision that they thought was best for them and you should want that for them. You should want them to be comfortable. You should want them to make the decision that they feel is best for them. If not, you're contradicting yourself when you say you just want to help people and that you're there for, help, for people, you know, and that you're just there to help, right? But, but if you get mad because they chose a different agent and that's contradictive, you need to be happy that they did that genuinely on the inside too, internally, and then turn around and use all that future time you just got back that you don't have to spend on that deal and go get five more, you know what I'm saying? So if someone on that list is a buyer, they go under contract with you, boom, they're off the list. If they go under contract with another agent, boom, they're off the list. If they ghost you and they never, they quit responding to text emails and all that good stuff, they're off the list. If they tell you they're gonna hold off for a while, okay, they're off the list. And all those people that go off the list are still on your database to get that weekly email, which should be the foundation of your business, foundation of your personal brand, the whole nine yards. But they're gonna go off the Google Sheet because now they're not thinking about it or you know they've moved into, they moved over to another agent or they're not gonna do anything anymore. And so all we're doing all day long is we're filtering through our Google, our Google list. We're following up with people on that list to see where they are in the process and help them. We should already have expectations set up for when we're supposed to follow up and how the whole transaction is gonna go based on why they're wanting to buy or sell. You should have a game plan already in place with them, okay, with everything built in in terms of follow up and, how the whole thing's gonna go. And then from there, we're, we wanna maintain this 20 to 30. So if we get to 20, somebody comes off, now we're at 19, now we're in the danger zone, right? We gotta get it back up to 20. Every time you take somebody off, you gotta replace it. So you have to have a, a lead generation source coming in, okay? And another, a whole another class could be on what I think the best lead generation source is known to mankind. But whatever your lead generation source is, we want to utilize that to find more people. So you always have to have an inflow of new leads coming in. You need to talk to them voice to voice to see what they're trying to do and when they're trying to do it to establish if they really are truly worthy, let's just say, of going on this list, going on this Google Sheet.